After all this time, it seems like we've finally gotten some more news about Scarlet and Violet, so while I digest the gameplay footage, let's take a look at some of the new characters that have been revealed. For one thing, the recent trailer really plays into the whole Academy theme, as will be a student here setting out on an independent study, a quote, treasure hunt. And two of the students we'll be learning alongside are Arvin and Penny. Arvin is an upperclassman of the Academy. He's good at cooking and is researching healthy recipes that can help Pokemon feel better. He will be asking you to help him out, since he is good at Pokemon battles. Penny is in the same grade as you. She has a bit of a shy personality, and for some reason, she doesn't seem to come to the Academy very often. She is especially fond of her fluffy Eevee bag and always has it on her back. I'm discussing both of these characters together because I have a feeling they may serve similar purposes, as far as how the trailer chooses to experience the story. It was also revealed that these games will supposedly have a lot more choice as far as gameplay goes. The website states, Weave three grand stories into your adventure as you meet Pokemon you've never seen and unique characters. These titles have the hallmark Pokemon story of going to gyms and aiming to become a champion. But there is no set path, so you can go to whichever gym you want to challenge in the order you desire. Furthermore, there are two other grand stories besides your pursuit of becoming a champion, and many trials and tribulations await you in these stories as well. We weren't given a lot of details of what the other two paths would be aside from the quick gameplay and a few images. So I think what's being set up here is that Arvin, Nimona, and Penny will each correlate to one of these three adventures that we can choose to follow. So Arvin is the dude with the birdkeeper Toby hair. He's wearing a variant of the Academy uniform which also seems to change based on the game that you're playing, just like Nimona. Right off the bat, we're told that this character has a goal of researching, which makes sense given his appearance, as he's wearing a large backpack and sports hiking boots. If we're going to be traveling the land of Paldea, one had best be prepared. I do also like that he's holding a tomato berry because that has always been one of my favorite looking berries in Pokemon. But anyway, Arvin is said to ask the player character for help since he isn't good at Pokemon battles, and one of the screenshots shows the two of them investigating some kind of plant. I would assume that this is food related because that's what Arvin is all about, but it is also glowing so I almost want to say that it could be related to the lore and story of the region. Maybe not directly tied into the new battle mechanic we've seen or have something specifically to do with the legendaries, but I have a feeling we'll be traveling around the region on this vague treasure hunt and we'll eventually stumble into something much bigger. And then there's Penny, who's a shy girl in the same grade as a player character. The fact that she doesn't come to the academy often and isn't even wearing the typical uniform the other students are, means that she spends most of her time doing something else that's important to her. And I suspect that this is the third path, which is even more vague because the only thing we're shown is this car which looks straight out of Pokemon Coliseum. It is very flashy and no doubt is blasting music with all the speakers on it. So Penny could be involved in some kind of musical activity somehow related to this car. From her design, it does look like that she could fit in with some of the other musical enthusiasts that we've seen in Pokemon. What exactly is going on with this? I have no idea. It could be a primarily character-driven story, or, this is a bit of a stretch, but stick with me, it could be the contest-like side mode. The recent contests in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were more music-related, so maybe the idea has been more fleshed out, and has become a legitimate side mode that fits alongside the gym challenge for this game. I'm not entirely sure, but I think when you take these characters and have them all together with these different paths, the gym challenge, the region exploration, and a Pokemon bonding minigame, it could really make for a full experience. I had been wanting something like this for a while where we could just play through a Pokemon game doing the various jobs or adventures besides just the gym challenge. Again, the details were pretty slim on what exactly everything else would be, but if Scarlet and Violet are really going to be more of an open world game, even stating that there's no set order to challenge the gyms and I would hope that each path has enough to offer. We were also introduced to Clavel, the director of the Academy, who I do not trust at all. Sure, he's the old guy running the Academy, but he's got six Pokemon, all of them in Premier Balls. I doubt he'll reveal himself to be the main villain, and I don't think they'd give us a Colonel Sanders-looking champion, but I'm going to watch my back. I really hope he's just a fun battle in the post-game and isn't too much of an obstacle during the actual story. Legitimately though, the six Pokeballs are what are freaking me out the most. There's also Jacques, who is one of our teachers at the Academy. Said to be knowledgeable in Pokemon biology, and even developing the Pokedex app for the Rotom phone. Interesting, because if he's working on the Pokedex, I guess that frees up Professor Sada and Turo for the legends of the game. And lastly, we get to meet one of the gym leaders of the game, Grusha. He's an Ice-type trainer who keeps most of his emotions hidden, but gets fired up during battle. He's also confirmed to have one of the new Pokemon, Titan. Interesting that we can challenge the gyms in any order, so I wonder how they decided which leader to showcase first. 
because the snowy area of the region doesn't look too close geographically to where we'll probably start our journey. There were also a bunch of characters who just kind of appeared in the trailer for a few seconds as if we weren't going to see them. But there's this woman in a tracksuit with a bunch of triangles all over it. Maybe she's something like the PE or the battle instructor at the school, as she's standing in the middle of a battlefield which is likely part of the academy. I say this because of the building behind her and the track that also encircles the battlefield. Next there's this huge dude with the edgiest mustache I've ever seen. He's standing in front of a board and has a name badge so I guess he's a teacher or other faculty member at the academy. The next four trainers that we see in battle I don't believe are gym leaders or otherwise important characters, but are instead the new looks for some of the trainer classes, like Beauty, Artist, Black Belt, and Maniac. But those are my thoughts on the characters that we'll be meeting in the Paldea region. A good group so far, and I'm looking forward to what else we could see in this game. I'll have a lot more to say about some of the other aspects, but like I said, I'm going to start chomping away at that gameplay footage, which I think is looking much better than what we saw in the last few trailers. I do really hope that we'll see some cool new adventures with the characters that were shown, but that all remains to be seen as we look forward to the future. Thank you to all my channel members who make videos like this possible, especially Justin R, Mr. Pig Puncher, and Quago. If you want to support and have your name shouted out here, you can become a channel member as well, and get access to some cool emotes for comments and live streams that I'm very proud of. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes. But anyway, this has been GatorX, and I'll catch you later. Discover the strength to rule a kingdom in the Pokemon trading card game, Sword and Shield, Chilling Rain. Products sold separately. Booster packs of 10 cards vary by product. Cards vary by pack.